I went to Matsuyama, which is another branch. It's also in Ehimeken. It's two hours away. I was in, it was the same district as Uwajima. Um, and I was there till the end of my mission. There were probably like 60, um, 50 to 60 members in that branch and about 665 or something, 663, I don't remember, less active members in that area. It was also a very large, I guess Uojima and Matsuyama were probably about as geographically large as Gobo was. Um, I just got to a lot more of them because we would bike a lot further um, than we did in Gobo. But because in Gobo, there's not really anyone there. It's like, here's Gobo, and then you bike over the mountains, and then there, there's a few houses. So it wasn't really worth the time to get over there. Whereas in Uajima and in Matsuyama, like, it's far, but there's houses and people all along the way. And so I would, we covered a lot more of those areas. So in Matsuyama, I feel like I tried to do the same thing I did in Uajima, which is just take care of the members that were already there. Because um, in Japan, like, you can, and, and anywhere, really, you can try to get new members, but if the members that are already there can't sustain them, then the work doesn't mean anything. And so I feel like what I started trying to do was focus on strengthening the members that were there so that they would want to stay. And then once they are strong enough, they'll take care of getting other people there. And um, so I tried to really focus on that and we did a lot of less active stuff, a lot of paperwork for less actives and like organizing and, and making sure everyone had been visited and telling, reporting back to the branch who had been visited and that's like 600 and some people. And it had, it was, it had been going on for um, like a couple of years. Like my first mission president started it and it had been going on for a year and we were coming up on two years of working with less actives in that area. So um, a lot had been done, like a lot had been done, but um, it had been, I don't know, we were just trying to get everything organized and clear. Um, and there were a few less actives um, that you just meet and and you see in them that they know it's true or want it to be true. If they don't know it's true, they want it to be true. And they just don't know how to go back um, or don't feel like they can. Or a big problem in Japan is having family members that are opposed. So... A lot of times we would have women that wanted to go to church, but their husbands who weren't members didn't want them to, and so they wouldn't and they couldn't. And there, I mean, the, the reverse was true too. There were a couple times that there were some men that wanted to come and, and the wives were really opposed. And then one time I had um, this old woman, she was probably like 88, but every day she would go walk to her field and like work in the field. She's like this 88 year old woman and she's so cute. And um, she, her um, reason for not going was that her daughter didn't want her to go and she was living with her daughter and so she wanted to respect her daughter. But, and her daughter was also a member and she just didn't want to go and didn't ever come. But I mean, and you see those people and you know that whether they're coming or not, the Lord is aware of them. And He is, He loves them just the same, and He'll take care of them. And, um, I don't know, I think that's, I don't know, maybe what I learned there, I guess. And then my mission ended, and, and I came home. <laughs>